all protocols have been, been observed. I bring greetings on behalf of the Most Honorable Prime Minister, Andrew Michael Holness, who is away on national business. I trust that you will accept me as the representative of our government in his stead. Let me express commendations to the Habab of Jamaica, the organizers of this event, for their decision to commemorate one of the most significant festivals in the Jewish faith. In this regard, allow me to salute Rabbi Yaakov Raskin and all members of the Chabab of Jamaica for their dedication to the cause so that their children and indeed the rest of Jamaica will have a sense of the importance in the formation of the identity of the Jewish people. Historically, much that we promote in the organization of stable and peaceful societies emerge from our religious experiences and the faith we, we profess. Our codes of social engineering and acceptable social behavior are influenced by our historical understanding of our response to and our relationship with our Creator, God. The structures we create, the laws we enact, the narrative we pass on, and the memories that we ritualize are reflective of our experiences throughout our history. And it is these that we pass down to the generations to come for the consolidation of cultural identity and the promotion of continuity, stability, and peace. As we chase the darkness and horrors away by illuminating the candles here today, I want to say to, say to you all, Happy Hanukkah. As we are well aware, the Jewish people here in Jamaica and abroad have had a long history. A history celebrated through various festivals while contributing significantly to the societies in which they form a part. In this regard, festivals like Hanukkah present opportunities for celebration, reflection, and knowledge transfer across generations. They allow for delving deeply into the roots of Jewish heritage and extracting from therein the many experiences that tell the story of the Jewish nation. It offers to the younger generation occasions to know more about themselves, their tradition, and their heritage. This, no doubt, has implications for the strengthening of cultural and religious identities and offer a platform to communal engagement which can only lead to greater understanding, acceptance, and peace. As we celebrate Hanukkah, we also lift our hats to the Chabab of Jamaica for their assistance to the children of Jamaica over the years of their establishment. We note your work across Jamaica in supporting back to school endeavors, giving aid to the poor and the elderly, and assistance to the vulnerable. Your tireless efforts in these activities are well recorded, and we are truly grateful. As you celebrate this important Hanukkah festival over these eight days, we wish for you the type of engagement that brings solidarity, empowerment, and value to the Jewish community. And as you bring your children to these festivals, we hope that they too understand the true meaning of Hanukkah. May it cause you, therefore, to open further doors of understanding that can only engender peace and build within communities a sense of love and tolerance. Those of us who have triumphed over the years know that it is only the illumination of light that can bring the world the peace it so truly deserves. Again, as I share with you all, I wish for you God's richest blessings as you continue your service to the larger Jamaican community. And tonight, as we light the light of love, tolerance, acceptance, let us illuminate our world and shed light against the darkness of ignorance, intolerance, and hate. Let us together, by lighting these candles, forge a better world under the light of hope, peace, in the spirit of one humanity. Thank you. Thank you.